Welcome back guys, JC here, and I'm going to take some time to answer a bunch of questions I get of why the Minim OSD Micro is not working. I'm going to cover common problems in the Arduino program, as well as the uh, MWOSD GUI and wiring. I forgot to add this in. If you can't flash to your on-screen display, then go to Tools and make sure you have Arduino Pro or Pro Mini, uh, the processor, uh, choose the correct COM port, and for programmer, the AV or ISP Mark II, whatever. So if the on-screen display is not working, here's a few things to check. First, if you're using the minimum OSD micro that looks like this, make sure you have whites by micro turned on, meaning that uh, defined is highlighted in green by deleting the, those two slashes. It comes preset to minimum OSD, so make sure you change it. If you're using Betaflight, make sure you have Betaflight selected and vice versa. If you have clean flight, make sure you have clean flight selected. And any changes you make in this, make sure you upload because if you don't write it, you know, you can make the change here, but it's not making the change in the on-screen display until you upload. If you have a multi-rotor, select Rotorcraft. If you have the OSD on a UART port, then make sure you have a baud rate set to 115,200. If you have it placed on a soft serial port, then use 19,200. And in beta flight, and in beta flight or clean flight, make sure you have it the data rate set to uh, whichever one it is, 19,200 or 115,200. Uh, both of them have to match, depending on if you use a UART or a soft serial. If you are using a soft serial and a baud rate of 19,200, make sure you have MSP speed set to low. If you have a UART port, then like I said, you would use this plus medium. One thing I want to talk about once we get into the uh, MWOSD GUI is setting it to NTSC or PAL. Now one thing to take note of is it says if you disable this, which this is the default, you don't have to, I didn't disable it, it comes this way, but it says if it's dis disabled it will auto detect camera type PAL or NTSC. This is not true. I have proven that. You still have to choose if you have NTSC or PAL in the MWOSD GUI. At this point I'm going to scroll all the way down so you can see exactly what all of my settings look like, but I'm going to place this at the end of this video so we can continue. So if you do want to see all of my setting changes, uh, just keep watching all the way through the end. As far as the MWOSD GUI, if you're getting an on-screen display but you're not getting any video, then make sure you have NTSC or PAL selected, whichever camera type you use. Or I should say the format of the camera you use. Uh, for example, this comes preset to NTSC, but a lot of my cameras use PAL. I am not going to get video until I switch this to PAL and then remember to write. Now I know this is a lot of wires, but bear with me. The only ones I use is ground, power, receive, and transmit. And then I have uh, this wire here is coming from the camera. This wire here is going to the video transmitter. So if you're not getting video, make sure you do not have these flip flopped. Like I said, camera, video transmitter. Now, as far as grounds, uh, you, you may be getting video, but not an on screen display like the text. I know these two pads here are grounds. For the uh, you got the ground for your video transmitter and ground for your camera but what I recommend doing is uh, you need a common ground so that is why I have so many wires running to my PDB because the PDB is the common ground this usually matter of fact that's the number one cause of not having an on-screen display is uh, improper grounds so instead of running the ground from my camera to the on-screen display, I run the ground right to my PDB. Same thing for my video transmitter. Instead of running the, the ground here, I run that ground to the PDB. This ground, which is, you know, the ground for the on-screen display, instead of running that to my flight controller, I run that to the PDB. I do get power off of the flight controller from a 5 volt pin. Uh, that works perfectly fine. My next tip is if you are getting video and text from your on-screen display but you're not seeing any real-time data, 
then make sure your transmit and receive wires are wired in correctly to your flight controller. Um, in that case, if you are getting video and text but not real-time data, just flip-flop the transmit and receive wires and that usually fixes the problem. If that doesn't fix the problem, then make sure you have data turned on on the correct port. Uh, if you have your transmit and receive wires going to a UART, make sure you have the correct UART. Uh, same thing if you have it on a soft serial, make sure you use the right soft serial. And if you do use a soft serial, make sure that your flight controller actually has a soft serial. I've run into fl some flight controllers that says they have a soft serial, but they actually don't. And also, like I said, make sure you have the correct baud rate selected. And the baud rate from here has to match what baud rate you flashed in the Arduino software. As promised, here is all of my Arduino settings. The only thing that may be different from mine to yours is if you're using Betaflight or CleanFlight. Also, I have mine set to be on a soft serial, so you might want to uh, choose a different baud rate, the 115,200, it's up to you. And the uh, serial speed is going to be either low or medium. Other than that, everything else is going to work. Pretty much everything else is just the defaults. So that's really the only things that change. And as for my final tips, uh, it could just be that the minimum OSD micro is bad. Uh, they, these things do pop very often. In fact, I've gone through probably four or five of them uh, over the last year. Also, it could be your camera or video transmitter. In that case, I would try swapping out a different camera and video transmitter. That's usually the first thing I do if it's not working, uh, just to see or eliminate the variables. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, if you haven't seen my Minimum OSD Micro playlist, look in the description below for those other helpful videos. And I will see you there.